Hi guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this natural look using drugstore products. If you're interested, keep on watching. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's Tony. If you're not subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're going to do is start off with a bare face and we're going to start off with using the NYX Dewy Finish Spray. I like using sprays before it putting on any moisturizer or primer. And the primer of choice today is going to be the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And I'm going to be putting a generous amount because I want my foundation to stick and stay. And if you guys are looking for a dupe to the Tatcha Silk, canvas primer this is it it's really good for the price and you can find it at target then i'm going to go in and i'm going to set that primer with my maybelline fit me medium deep setting powder every area that i get a little bit oily i'm going to set this powder and i'm also going to put it in my laugh lines because i creased in that area and it kind of helps with creasing a little bit so um, i'm going to go right ahead and pack that on and now we're going to go in with foundation now i'm going to probably be using a lot of makeup bling products for this video because i feel like when i started doing makeup maybelline was the it girl and the still the it girl and they have such a wide range of like shades so this shade that i'm using is mocha um and this is in the dewy smooth um texture they do have matte poreless so um if you're an oily girl you can get the matte one now i'm going to contour i'm going to contour with the elf hydrating camo concealer this is in rich ebony and then i'm going to go in with my juvia's place concealer now this is not from the drugstore but it is an affordable concealer that you can find at alto i feel like every product that you can find at walgreens target or like cbs wherever you are um you can find these products at alto and they have a lot of colors and shades in there so if you can't find it in your drugstore go to autumn so now I'm going to um, buff out my contour with the same foundation brush that I use because I like to build up my product on um, one item whether that's my beauty blender or my brush so um, I always blend out my contour first because it can get a little bit muddy after you do it um, after your concealer so always blend out the darker shades first and then go ahead and blend out the lighter shades and you guys are going to see how slim, seamless this comes together so i'm going to be using my beauty blender and this is damp i feel like in 2021 we should all know that our beauty blenders are supposed to be wet in order to blend out our makeup products so i'm going to blend out the areas that i don't need that much coverage first just to build that up, up on the beauty blender first and then i'm going to go underneath my eyes and blend that out I like to actually take my concealer and kind of drag it upward just so I can look like um, I have a lifted look. And whatever is left on my beauty blender, I just go right ahead and cut out um, my cheeks doing like a reverse contour. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then I'm just going to go back in with that um elf concealer brush and make sure my contour of my nose is still there now i like my other eyes to be a little bit brighter so i'm going in with the maybelline fit me honey um concealer now this concealer is really good um if you're looking for a drugstore concealer elf maybelline and i believe covergirl has some great concealers and then i'm going to just drag that down just so my other eyes are a little bit bright because we just like that look especially for a natural glam like this and then going back in with that foundation brush i'm making sure that everything is blended together now i'm going to set i'm going to go back in with that maybelline fit me medium deep powder and i'm going to take off some of the powder off the sponge onto my hand just so the powder is not harsh because i'm not trying to bake i just kind of just want to lightly set it um to its natural finish and as you guys can see it's not too much but it's also set so you don't have to go in and just brush off all that extra powder if you don't want to so just setting all the highlighted areas with that sponge not overdoing it Now I'm going to go in and contour and bronze. Now this Maybelline Fit Me Java 
um, shade I got from Walmart. And then I also have the Juvia's Place bronzers. I couldn't choose between the two, but they both are affordable. Now, like I said, also we have the Juvia's Place brand. You won't find that in the drugstore, but you can find this Maybelline um, shade. And this is actually a contour, which I haven't done in so long, but I actually like the way this looks. So everywhere that I put my bronzer, I will put this contour shade. And again, I don't know if I told you guys, but this is in the shade 375 Java. So I'm using like a fluffy brush and just kind of just patting it on lightly. I'm not going in heavy because I don't want to look muddy. And that's another reason why I never really contoured in the first place because it can look real dirty real fast. But this actually came out looking good. So the same shade that I'm using on my um, contour area is the same shade I'm going to place on my eyelid because with a natural glam, you kind of want everything to be cohesive. And then I'm taking that foundation brush and just going over my whole entire face just to make sure all the powder is blended and it's not too powdery. Now, I didn't have a drugstore brow. I'm sorry, y'all. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to do this for so far. <laughs> but I didn't have a drugstore um, brow product because I thought I had a NYX one in my kit, but I didn't. But if you guys go to the drugstore, you guys can definitely pick up a NYX brow pencil. This will give you the same look if you do the same exact um, little hair-like strokes and fill it in lightly and then brush it in with a spoolie. So after I do that, I'm going to highlight underneath my brows with that Juvia's Place Concealer, just not too much, and then I'll blend it out. So now that my face is basically done, I'm going to spray my face with the NYX Dewy Setting Spray again. And then I'm going to go in with the Milani Make It Last. This is just their 16 hour wear setting spray to keep my makeup in place. Now for my lips, I'm going to be using these NYX products. The lip liner is called Downtown Beauty. And the butter gloss that I'm going to be using is in the shade Butter Cookie. I really enjoy using NYX butter glosses because they're not only glossy, but they're pigmented. So you really you don't need to use a lipstick and any shade that you guys use is going to be bomb as you guys can see it's going on pretty light but once you blot your lips together it shears out now i got these two dollar earrings that i got from walmart because i feel like it was appropriate for this affordable look and that is basically it make sure you guys comment below if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time see ya